For more than a year now, Fox 13 News has been pressing the Department of Children, Youth and Families about whether they did enough to protect Oakley Carlson. The Grace Harbor County girl is still missing and the case is at a standstill. Last week, an investigation into DCYF found that the agency didn't do anything wrong in Oakley's case, leaving many in the community outraged. And Fox 13's Hannah Kim went one on one with the person heading the investigation, digging for some answers. So, Hannah, what did you find out? Yeah, so Jamie, Oakley's disappearance is, of course, so tragic and it's garnered national attention. I just got off the phone today with the investigator in this case, and he says the biological parents, Jordan Bowers and Andrew Carlson, who are suspects in their daughter's disappearance, is still. Still refusing to cooperate, only to tell detectives that they do not know where Oakley is. We know Oakley has been missing for a year and a half now and disappeared sometime after the courts gave her back to Bowers and Carlson there. Foster mom Jamie Jo Heil says after Oakley was taken away from her, she repeatedly called DCYF with concerns about Oakley's safety. Once in January of 2021 and then again in November of 2021 when she heard there was a fire at Oakley's home. We've been pressing DCYF for a year now on this, but due to privacy laws, they say that they cannot tell us what the response was to Jamie Jo's calls. Now, Governor Inslee even asked Ombuds Director Patrick Dowd to investigate DCYF and its handling of this case. In the end, Patrick Dowd found that DCYF followed their protocols. Many are surprised, so I interviewed Dowd to get a better understanding. Can you confirm to us that DCYF did visit to check up on Oakley in person in January of 2021 and November of 2021? And, and again, due to confidentiality, I cannot confirm any specific um, actions that, that, that you've described by the department. But what I can tell you is our investigation um, specifically focused on um, any reports or concerns that were made to CPS. Dowd also made a recommendation in his findings that the foster mom is outraged over. The ombuds director says after looking at this case and others, he says Oakley could have used more bonding time with her biological parents before she was given back. Considering Oakley's biological parents are suspects in her disappearance and not forthcoming with any information, I asked Dowd if his recommendation was appropriate. But given my work in other cases where there, have, there has been child abuse and neglect following reunification, it is not uncommon that we can look back and see, well, maybe there was a bonding or attachment issue that was missing. And, and for example, one um, predictor of successful reunification is family time. I pressed Dow to open up his investigation to publish it in full, but he says the law does not allow that. He says Oakley has to be confirmed dead or criminal charges brought against her parents for the documents to be released to the public. He says he understands the frustration many people are feeling, and he also wanted to clarify that his office of the Family and Children's is completely independent from DCYF with full access to all of their records and also access to interview all DCYF employees who handled Oakley's case. Dowd says a thorough investigation was done before he came out with his findings. Jamie, David.